I've got a song for you. Want to hear it? Here it goes. I love you. You love me. Let's get together and live in unity. We have a black president. Now our change has come. Now there's no more racism. Basically, I just wanted to do a video to um, respond to uh, Alpha Cat's video about the child in Oregon who was um, who was removed from the talent show because he was wearing a, a black Obama mask. He's a white kid that's wearing his mask. My view on that is because I've uh, been racially discriminated against, I know what it's like to be first-hand judged by the color of my skin. Every black person knows what it's like to be judged in some way, shape, or form by the color of their skin. It is not fun. I personally believe in a colorblind society. However, this is a child that we're, you know, we're talking about here. Um, in the case of this child, somebody has to come to his defense and say, hey, it's okay for the child to express who he, who he wants to be. Because this, this is a new day. Um, when, an, when Obama won the office, he, a you know, change was already made. You know, the way that we view racism and discrimination before has all been changed. Nothing could ever really offend me anymore, really. Because it all boils down to ignorance, really. And I never seem to get past ignorance. And I can also never get past people wearing blackface. Blackface is just stupid. Um, it's offensive. Hurtful. So, um, don't do that. But, you know, a little kid expressing that he likes Obama. And he's performing to a song that was created by another Obama fan. Let it be, you know. I personally think that every black person should record a response to this video. Leave me a video response or go to Alpha Cat's video. Everybody needs to speak up and say it's okay for this kid to do his show. Appearing this performance and if enough people will speak up um, for this little kid, the school will owe him an apology. Because I know what it's like to not be able to do something that you've worked so hard to do. Unfortunately for this kid, he now knows what racism is. I believe that, um... Oregon, the state of Oregon is pretty much conservative for the most part. And it's a, I don't, I don't know that for sure, but what I do know is for sure, if you go to the Museum of, Toler of, the Museum of Tolerance, there's a section in that museum, the Museum of, Tol of Tolerance is right here in Santa Monica, California. If you go to that museum and you look at the, the first exhibit, it shows you hatred and discrimination, a map of the United States. And, Primarily, it uh, has zones on the map where were marked off by the KKK and the, and the uh, skinheads. And it shows you that in Oregon, the KKK are pretty dominant. So, I wouldn't be surprised if um, we had some McCain supporters, you know, some, some white people that were, you know, they don't really care for blacks. And so they... Or President Obama, and so they they use this opportunity to take the Obama supporter out of the show, and uh, and on the on the same token, I have a I have a um, my mother is a is a Obama supporter supporter just like I am. Um, she works for a church office that. That isn't an Obama supporter, and they've asked her to remove her pictures from the wall, and, I, and we all feel that's unfair. Because a person should should be able to um, express themselves in, in their little, you know, in their little uh, workspace. You know, my mom has pictures of Obama mixed in with her family pictures in her cubicle. It's, it's not on the on the wall or anything. It's on the uh, it's on her her personal private cub cubicle. They made a huge big deal out of it and whatnot, so um, my mom's not too happy about that, but yeah, any, anyway, let the kid be, let him do what he wants to do, and um, I want to hear from, I want to hear from you guys that, that are supporters of this kid, and plus I want to hear from, from whites and other, other uh, nationalities that support Obama, there's millions of them. I work as a um, as a cashier at Home Depot, and I, I, 
uh, you know, when, when Obama won the, was, was uh, running for the election on November 4th, um, I kept meeting people that, that were white and other races that were saying, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm for Obama. I'm for Obama. And that just made me feel so good. And that, that was when I knew that something big was happening. I knew something instantly. When Obama won the office, I was like, oh, over, overwhelmed with joy. So, you know, I cried. Yeah, I got, uh, I got overwhelmed, overwhelmed with tears and the association of him with uh, Martin Luther King. Oh, powerful. And the day that he um, got sworn in on January 20th, that was, that was amazing. So, let me know what you think. Post your response down below. In video, please. I mean, texts are nice, but um, video rocks. Because I like, I like hearing people talk back in the video. Alright, God bless. Have a great day. You, you love me. Let's get together and live in harmony. We have a black president. Now our change has come. Now there's no more racism. Sing it along. I love you, you love me, let's get together and live in harmony, we have a black president, now our change has come, now there's no more racism, I love you, you love me, let's get together and live in harmony, with a black president, now our change has come, now there's no more racism, now there's no more racism.